So in this video, I want to look at what, what constitutes what we call an error. And so basically by the simplest terms, an error is when a player on the defensive side of the, the field ma makes, you know, makes a mistake and that gives the, the offense you know, an advantage they, they would not have had, you know, usually have gotten you know, in the course of a game. So, so, so the, the rule book breaks it down, and there's lots of different ways if you look in the rules that a defensive player can be charged with an error, but I just kind of want to give the basic overview in this video, and really you'll find that the majority of the errors that you see committed will, will fall under one of these categories. So the, the first thing that it's going to have to, that it, that it, it can do, is, is permit a runner to advance one or more bases you know that that he he would not have had if the error was not committed so permits a runner to advance one or more bases so so that, that, that that's that's you know the, the first way first first situation that, that, that an error can be charged in so the second way is that it would prolong the time that a runner is on base. So, so pro prolongs the time a runner is on base. And then the third way is that it can prolong the time that a, a batter is batting. So, so it would prolong the time at bat of a batter. And so it has to fall, in order for an error to be charged, it, it, it has to fall into one of these three categories. And, we'll, and, and so, so how, how would the defensive team allow this to happen? You know, because obviously this is, these are three things that they're really trying to prevent and they're, they're trying to, to get out, you know. So, so, so how, how can they screw this up, you know, under the, under the rules? And so what the rules say is that it has to be a misplay by the, by the defensive team. And it breaks that down even further by saying it can be a fumble, a muff, or a wild throw. And so, so I, I, sometimes it's good, you know, just, just to, to see an example of it. So, so let's go up to the field here and let's say that, that we have... We have, we have uh, the red team up the bat here, and you know we could have the uh, you know our infielders or four infielders here, and so the pitcher will throw the ball to the batter, and the batter swings and he hits the ball to the shortstop, and. And you know, while this is happening, as soon as he hits the ball, the, the batter is going to take off running toward first base, and and the shortstop is going to try to pick the ball up and throw it to the first baseman to get the force out at first. And so let's say that that the the shortstop drops the ball, and in, in most situations, you know, if the ball is is hit to him, he's he's going to have enough time to to pick it up and throw the throw the batter out. But let's say he drops the ball, and so, so that would be, a, you know, a misplay. In, the, in this case, it would be a fumble because he, he, he dropped the ball, and so, so the 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 runner, there the batter, he would then become a base runner, and you know, is it, basically the rules take the stance that it's it's not really fair to give the the batter credit for. For getting on base, and so in this this situation, the the shortstop, it would be his fault. So rather than being a, a base hit, we would say that that it was an error on the shortstop, and that was the reason that the batter advanced to first base. So so and 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 it could happen, you know, it, maybe let's say that the. Uh, the, the the batter hits the ball to the shortstop and he takes off running for first base 
and the shortstop, he, he fields the ball cleanly, just like he's supposed to, and he picks it up and he throws it over to the, to the, the first baseman, who's covering first, and the first baseman drops the ball. Well, again, that would be, you know, that's a, that's a misplay. And so, so, so the, in that case, the, the first baseman would be charged with the air because again you know it's not the really the runner or it's not the batter that 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 got on base you know by something good he did it was a mistake by the defense and so so that's why it's considered an error so so and and, and it can happen you know in, in the outfield too if if say the ball we have the, the you know the three outfielders are out here and they, they can also be be charged with with errors. So if a if a high fly ball is hit out to the to the right fielder and he he gets underneath it and he just happens to drop it, then again you know that's not something the 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 base runner or the the batter did. He re- really under normal circumstances he would have been would have been out, but in this case because the the right fielder dropped it. We charge him with an error, and so you you might say you know where where do they draw the line? Because if 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 a if somebody hits the ball, if the the batter hits the ball, you know, and it's like it's 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 really hard hit, and it's back here, you know, the the shortstop and will he'll probably attempt to run over and pick it up and th- and then throw him out. But let's say you know the the batter is really fast, and so the the shortstop you know he might even have to to dive. So let's say he the ball's hit here really hard. The shortstop actually dives over to stop the ball, picks it up. He he stands up, picks it up, and throws throws the 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 ball over to first base, and the 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 runner has has beats the throw and he's safe. Well, with that situation. Because the the shortstop made such such a, a, a great effort, you know, to to dive and and stop the ball, it's really not his fault that that the, that you know that the batter was safe at first base. So in that situation, it would just be it would it it would just be considered a base hit. And so so where do you draw the line there between a base hit and and an error? And so the rule book uses a term, and it says ordinary effort has to be is kind of the, the the boundary line. And so, and that that's obviously that you know that's a judgment call. And so that's something that the the official scorer he he'll sit up you know in the press box, and that's really that's his decision, that's his call whether it's a hit or whether it's an error. And that happens, you know, it'll usually happen a couple times a game where he'll have to make that determination. 